Syria. Are you alarmed that this thing may even get worse? In, in essence, you have Russia, Iran, Hezbollah, and potentially Iraq, like a Shia camp, you know, fighting the opposition, which are 100% yeah. Sunni, Saudi Arabia, and the other countries. You see this really getting out of hand? Are you alarmed yeah, I mean, that I, this I, may I, happen again, if you don't reach an accommodation no, with I, the Russians? Sorry, I mean to cut you off. Um, look, I mean, Secretary and others have spoken about this far more uh, articulately or eloquently than I could, but uh, absolutely, there's, uh, there's a chance this could, if there's no process in place or at least hope for a political resolution that this could descend even further into bloodshed and conflict and, as you noted, uh, spread to uh, become a wider conflict. And that's our concern. And that's why we're trying to pursue uh, to the extent every uh, the extent possible uh, a, a diplomatic solution. Yeah, TJ. Yeah. Yeah. As you, you've been uh, listening, like uh, I had a question about uh, the Indian minister visiting Syria. At, and uh, yeah. the minister is meeting the uh, the the president and is also supporting like you know and now you have the reports of china supporting now russia uh, iran so there is a, a coalition that is supporting the the syrian regime uh, so do we still stand um, on that point that uh, assad has to go or do we find a political solution that includes him? Uh, I'll begin at the end of your question. Um, so we've long said that the view of the United States is that um, there can be no successful political transition with Assad uh, as the leader of Syria. But how that transition takes place, the pace of that transition, uh, is really something to be negotiated in Geneva between the two sides. Um, you know, it's for them to figure that out. But we believe that Assad cannot be the future leader, we the United States believe that Assad cannot be the future leader of Syria uh, because of uh, the misery uh, and carnage that he has uh, 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 caused in Syria on his own people. Um, in answer to your question, look, I mean, I don't want to – uh, give any kind of credence or to your your question saying that there's some kind of pro-Assad coalition forming. Um, I'll let the Indian government speak to what its intentions are. Um, I think, as I said in a previous question about um, China, as I think what is important here is that whatever your uh, – whatever side you support, if I could put it that way, uh, is that there be a general consensus. Uh, towards a political or diplomatic solution uh, for Syria. Otherwise, uh, you know, it, it's just going to get worse. And let me be clear, I'm talking about just a civil war. What we all need to focus on and what we've talked about before is, you know, we're trying to end the civil war that's taking place in Syria so that we can all focus our efforts to uh, destroying uh, and degrading uh, Daesh. Can I just clarify that? The, the 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 question was that and the, the Assad is getting the support from not only India but China Russia uh, yeah. the, these are not just you know small countries or small powers so what is uh, how how can you still stand because when you come to, when it comes to the negotiations table so you're going with this mindset that Assad has to go and these people are supporting Assad so you know, where do we stand on that? that? That, my friend, is the art of diplomacy, and I'm not being facetious or light-hearted about it. I'm just, uh, you know, that's walking into a room and building a consensus uh, and, and dealing with tough issues and coming at it with different viewpoints. We've done that before. Uh, this Secretary of State has uh, shown that he is capable of building that kind of consensus, whether it's on climate change or an Iran nuclear deal. Uh, but that is, as I said, that's the, you know, cornerstone of any successful diplomatic process. Please, Brad.